Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. A monthly tarot reading, November 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are to jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month Libra, that is going to be the uh, Knights of Pentacles, which is rep represented by the King of Pentacles in the traditional tarot deck. Furthermore, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month, that is going to be the Ten of Wands. Then the third card stands for the intentions that you need to put into the month or rather like or you can take this position as the best possible course of action here we do have the six of pentacles followed by the fourth one which stands for the um a lesson that you are to learn throughout this month and uh, or in other words why this is all happening we do have the three of pentacles and the last one is going to be in regards to the energies that are to support you throughout the month. That will be the Sun card. All right, so um, I, it looks like very, very positive, guys. I mean, it does look like that your ship is coming here into the month of November in the face of this person, Knight of Pentacles. But before we go into that and see how this thing plays out, picking up the cards one by one, Let's run them down one more time. So we do have the Knights, the uh, Knights of Pentacles here into the uh, first position, which is the general topic and the theme of your month, followed by the uh, Ten of Wands, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. Furthermore, here it is the Six of Pentacles, which represents the uh, <clears throat> positive intentions that you can have throughout the month or the best possible course of action. Then it is the, the Three of Pentacles standing for the lesson that you are to learn throughout the month of uh, November, or uh, in other words, why this is all happening. And the last one, it is the Sun card, which represents the energies that are to support you throughout the month. And uh, let's, um, let's start. So, uh, Knight of Pentacles, it is the topic and is going to be catalyzed by the Princess of Wands. The Princess of Wands, it is represented by the Page of Wands in the traditional tarot deck. So we do have a passive neutrals. And what is, uh, we do have a person here which is going to be the general topic. And while this person has a uh, other options available than you, whatever that is, either career-wise or relationship-wise, they kind of like uh, want to invest in you just to see 
not just only to see, but also they do want that thing, whatever you do have in between each other to happen. Now, important thing to be acknowledged with these two cards, it is that this person, or while um, very versatile, they like to settle down, okay? So when they do have a, a general idea for you or for your mutual project or for your mutual relationship, they, this person wants to explore that idea to the very end. So in other words, they don't jump into new beginnings or into new actions or into new enterprises until they are not sure that they have exhausted the current topic to its maximum and to its very end. Additionally to that, while this person does not like to be told what to do, it is willing to listen to sound advices and also to critics and not to mention that they are also willing to listen to a, um, how do you say it when you are kind of like, uh, admitting that you cannot do something and the other one is listening to you and it's kind of like honoring this standpoint of yours. So such kind of a person, they do understand people are not perfect and while you are not perfect, they, just, they don't see themselves perfect as well and are willing to work out the lack of perfection in both of you so you can find a common ground and so there is what you to give to each other. That is the whole point of the interaction here, a, a, mutual, a, a mutual game of giving and taking. You cannot expect that this person will only give to you, neither they can expect that they will only take from you as well, all right? So it needs to have this constant flow of giving and taking. Additionally to that, this person is quite self-absorbed. What I mean it is that they do not concern, the, concern themselves with the opinion of others and with the standpoint of others, nor they like to take other people for examples as well. So you can be sound and secure here, feel pretty safe, that uh, none of um, uh, un um, none of the harmful opinions that you may have in your life from people that hold grudge towards you are going to sway the, uh, the intentions of the uh, Knights of Pentacles to uh, cooperate with you in any way, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Just for the love of God, guys, do not try to establish domination and control over them. It's not going to work out very, very well. The next card here stands for the challenges that you need to uh, overcome and this is going to be the Ten of Wands and it is accompanied here or catalyzed by the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have an, an active neutrals and challenging wise this is a pretty much with uh, the narrative it does look like that you will have to start performing um, or kind of stick up to certain rules and regulations that are alienated from uh, from your current rules and regulations or for, from your current stereotype of, of living that you are used to. No different than starting a new job and you have to kind of like uh, align yourself with the code of conduit that the uh, company is preaching or is expecting from you to um, to follow. Okay, so the um, I would say here the more open minded you are, the better. And challenging wise, also uh, with these two cards, it is the standpoint that because there are going to be a lot of things that are moving around and a lot of things that you need to um, obligate yourself into, um, and a lot of things as well that you will have to how do you say it in English? Um, obey to or obliged to, all right? You may not instantly see the benefits of this um, good opportunity or rather like a, um, a good enterprise that you both are to cooperate um, with uh, the, um, the Prince of, uh, the, the, the Knights of Pentacles, excuse me. It's, it's still a bit of a mess with the Prince, Knight and so on and so forth, but, but, but we are gonna get used with it. So what I'm trying to say here with uh, these two cards, it is that you have to uh, accept that the world is uh, dappled with colors. And sometimes you gotta get outside of your comfort zone and try new things, a, a different stereotype of life, 
so you can see is it good or is it bad is it something beneficial for you or is it not beneficial for you therefore do not be afraid throughout this month to throw yourself into projects that you are not very familiar with but yet you do possess the uh, the knowledge and the the skills to do it or do not be afraid to associate yourself with people that you are confident you know that you do have a mutual attraction and yet those people are very different from the people that you have dated thus far so you can explore a different varieties of the world yeah it's going to be a little bit more heavy on your routine you will have to kind of like uh, rearrange your stereotype but at the end of the day from this particular endeavor here with the knights of pentacles you can only uh win things okay uh, because that person gives it's very very generous but it it is not charitable that's important to be said so uh intentional wise we do have the six of pentacles and that card is accompanied by the five of cups formation it is a, a passive uh passive friends it is that we do have here quite of a uh, interesting uh quite of a, an interesting combo that is for reason being it is that it looks like that you have to pretty much well basically what these two cards are pointing it is that you need to give yourself to it completely you need to allow that person to take care of you okay and to show you the to help you to fit with uh, with with the new stereotype to help you to fit with the new relationship that you are for example establishing with them or to help you fit with the new job that that person understands that no one have been born uh teached and learned all right you are to learn along the way with tackling with this new environment and kind of fitting yourself finding your place in the environs around you and for that reason it looks like that there that person is going to be very patient and with these two cards here um intentional wise while you have to allow that person to help you i mean the knights of pentacles at the end of the day uh, whatever position you are to take in regards to them should be your personal call now additionally to that um intentional wise it's that that is a little bit of a superficial here but it looks like that the current that you have taken back in the days the current of life i mean led you to that position so it's kind of like you provoke the circumstances so you end up uh, knights of pentacles to meet in war in one or another way either career wise or either relationship wise and uh, you may you may be afraid that um this whole endeavor is gonna end up a little bit disappointing for you or you're going to, or you're going to uh, it's not that disappointing but it's more like a fear that you're gonna lose your old life okay and that is not going to happen here we do have an addition to your old life rather than a uh, rather than complete substitution we do have more like a a fusion in between your old life and your new life making it much more uh, rich enriched excuse me and much more abundant of uh, enterprises of things that are going you are going to find uh, productive yourself in and efficient as uh, efficient as well and at the end of the day um you're going to find purpose right because everybody search their purpose and you're going to find purpose into those uh, into those endeavors which are to be tackled with you and the uh knight of pentacles so why this is all happening here guys we do have the tree of pentacles and um, it's catalyzed by the uh, knights of wounds once again the knights in this deck are um, represented they're representing the kings in the traditional one so this is a um <clears throat> passive neutrals that we do have here and these two cards here are pointing well i'm going to interpret the tree of pentacle just like alistair crowley interprets it because this is a tot tarot um millennium tot tarot and alistair crowley interprets the tree of pentacles as an ocean of opportunities okay and in this particular case uh, what you are to learn is that not necessarily your original ambition or rather like your original goal and strive uh it is the shortest way to success or the shortest way 
to reach this ocean of opportunities to 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 reach this vast fields of um monetary success, um, emotional abundance, uh, unconditional support, let's say, friendship, cooperation, and so on and so forth. Sometimes, mm, you got to take the, um, the long route around so you can explore a, a, a vast kind of like pieces of the world because you, the only thing that you're going to... Um, or kind of like, yeah, the only thing that, you, that is going to happen from it is that you are going to enrich your experience and you are going to find a better and new means. And that's the reason why the uh, Knights of Pentacles, it is showing up throughout this month of November for you, Libra, to show you that there is a better way, that there is a different way, and to show you as well that you don't have to do it alone, right? It's, it's just no one does it by itself. No one is... Uh, persevering or rather like it's becoming successful by itself and sometimes uh, you have to entrust certain people sometimes you have to place your trust into someone that is showing that they're willing to not only help you but to give you as well that's the whole point here from this month from this month and lastly we do have the energies that are to support you here uh, Libra that is going to be the Sun card and it is accompanied by the star card that is very, very powerful. We do have an active friends. And that is the, it's not only, it's only the belief, guys. Those energies are going to make you believe into the natural success of the endeavor on the enterprise that it is developing in between you and the Knights of Pentacles. It's simply the more you cooperate with them, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, the more you are going to start seeing how how game changing that thing is for example the more you start you the more you keep on dating the more uh, you are gonna fall in love with each other or the more you are performing upon projects the more money you are gonna make and so on and so forth i mean this person is your natural extension in your life extension in a mean of again fusing the benefits of your current life with the benefits of their current life, making it one whole and becoming successful, happy, content, exhilarated, you know, and productive, but all, but above everything else, finding a purpose. So that being said, uh, Libra, this was your a uh, monthly tarot reading or before we you know, we end up the reading these energies are always going to uh, make you find the necessary support you seek in order to um, never kind of like lose grasp upon the benefits at the end of uh, at the end of the endeavor with the uh, prince uh, with the uh, king knight excuse me oh my god knight of pentacles so yeah, that being said, guys, uh, this was your monthly tarot reading Libra for the month of November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.